What are you two doing? Stump sleeping? Yeah, laying in the same direction. I don't know. And of course, we got Miss Rooster. See, you got to have the towel on the wet chair so her biscuit don't get wet. But now she's got two biscuits, but one stays in the house so it don't get dirty. You ain't finished your supper. You got dirty face. Cause you was burying a milk bone. I seen you. I peeked out the window. You was burying it. I know where it's buried. I know where it's buried. Welcome to the channel. We are back on the remodel. It's been a few days since I made a video But I haven't been sitting around doing nothing. I've been working So let's take a look at what we got going on here uh, See I haven't filmed in so long. I forgot how to film. Oh, I got to turn the thing around There we go. All right sheetrock is up and I'm going to wait to mud it I get the metal up. I'm gonna put the metal up today. I'm gonna to go ahead and get that up because even if I paint and mud and all that and I hit the metal, it doesn't matter. There's gonna be a four inch strip like we have in the kitchen here. So it'll it, it doesn't matter. I want to hurry up and get this closed up in here. I've got my light boxes up in the wall or up in the ceiling there. And uh so all I have to do now is when I hang the metal. I'll un unscrew the light and I got I didn't leave my much self much to work with on that one unscrew the light and put the wire through the metal I have some rubber grommets to put on the metal because you don't want that wire scraping up against sharp metal so that's what we're gonna get done on that and I'm gonna put a piece of insulation in here and if I got any left, I'll, I'll, I got some foam board. I'll, that's the loft right there, so there's no cold coming from there. But there, there is. But you can see I've already seen me insulate that before. Uh, and that should be fine. Yeah, all the electrical is live now. I did pick up a dimmer switch. I'm going to put that in there. I believe here. I can't find it. I can't find nothing here. I don't know why. Oh my goodness. There it is. So we're going to put this dimmer switch because these lights are extremely bright and they are kind of made to be uh, installed with a dimmer so we're going to put that in today uh, and then I'm going to get to hanging hanging this metal hopefully I can finish it today I am getting a late start as I usually do because I gotta usually run to town and get everything now this wall <laughs> Let's get up here a little closer. This is the existing wall that was covered in cedar. So I've got all the rest of those nails to get out. I'll either get them out or pound them down, one of the two. No, I gotta get them out. If this wall is textured, this wall, new wall, will not be. So I don't care. I'm gonna have a bulletin board or something there. It's not textured so much you're gonna know. I'll just put the paint on a little thick and because I'm not texturing nothing. It's just an office, but it's gonna look nice. So what the plan is, is we'll get this metal up today, just the metal, I don't, I'm not gonna get to the wood. Now the cedar that I took out of the ceiling is gonna be the cedar that's going, or you know, over, over the metal uh, like we've got in the kitchen. I have screw holes in so a lot of it that'll have to be filled. And all you do with cedar to fill your screw holes or big holes, is you pick up the cedar sawdust and you mix it in with some wood glue and you just put a little bit over there you can't tell the difference it's the same color so we can go ahead and reuse that wood now there's a very few pieces that were up here that I threw in the fire pit because that's where that rodent was running it had rodent droppings on it so I am not going to be handling something with that but the rest of it there was no issues with and it's sitting out in a dog kennel in the lumber pile. Now, I thought about filling this in with sheetrock, but it's pointless. That's the loft up there. If I need to access the junction boxes or the electrical, it's so easy to remove the, the tin. And so I'm just going to, you can see I've got these pieces of sheetrock that I used before for spacers. So when I put my uh, 
the metal is going to be running this way same way as in, in the kitchen the only difference with what i want to do now which i also did in the office is you're not going to see any of these screws and this was my first experience putting this up if i'd have known better but i do have a solution for this and that is to add another slat it's plenty wide to do that but it's it's not gonna work out but i don't care about that now i do got to put another sheet of uh sheetrock i do have it this is going to be a, a little tricky to put in and that's going to be metal all the way up because this is going to be where the cooking area is so i feel safer having the metal but i do want the sheetrock behind it i got sheetrock behind this so it's not going to match up i did convert that to 110 so that is no longer the 240 that it was that was a very simple change and uh, my hope is to get this metal up here today and then maybe by tomorrow get the wood get it framed in the wood although i may wait until i do mud the wall i want to get every the, the ceiling and the walls done at least mudded by tomorrow or by monday and then monday morning i want to run to fort smith come here i'm talking to you i want to run to fort smith get the flooring tuesday morning i want to start putting flooring down uh, i'm gonna have to go stop and get a new mop and bucket and go over this whole floor several times clean it vacuum it i don't want it any kind of dirt underneath the new floor just getting vinyl plank flooring which you just lay down i got a new cutter coming actually a company reached out to me uh it's uh it cuts wood vinyl uh plank flooring that's gonna be nice and you just just you know you do this and it cuts it all right i'm i'm gonna get busy i can't sit here and yak at you guys all day so get a good look at it now yeah i'm gonna go ahead and install that dimmer now nah, we'll wait on that let's get right onto the metal i've already got it out in the truck and it it ain't cheap anymore i'll tell you that so let's get going all right i'm going to be reusing these boards that i pulled off the wall these were behind the cedar uh i'm going to be let's bring one out here these are what i'm going to be using for my i don't know purlins uh there was a lot of work involved with this guys when i uh, these first of all these were about three dollars a piece uh, about nine years ago and then i took a torch and i torched them and i put two or three coats of polyurethane on each board the problem i had with this and you can still you can see i still have some here i can only afford so many at a time and then every other time that i would go back and get more it'd be a whole different kind of wood or the pattern would be complete i mean you have to get it from the same batch to make it look good so what i ended up with is i mean here's a spot where i took the ceiling out you can see it's behind there I didn't have a consistency and it looked terrible so there is probably oh, a couple thousand dollars worth of boards and in this whole wall the same thing I had this whole place done that way and the, you just didn't get a consistent group and it looked terrible so I, I covered it in cedar and now I'm going with just painted walls but it will be trimmed out in cedar you'll see all right i'm yapping more let's get get to work but i wanted to show you this is what i'm using and these are perfect uh, i already got them i got plenty of them so might as well use them all right let's get to work all right progress is slow now this room is out of square and it wasn't what i did i tried to square it up the best i could it's that wall which was the original wall well it could have been i'm blaming on my brother because he built this lower wall and went off that i did move this wall out because it was slanted downward but right now i'm hanging these slats my idea is uh so, you know i can't see where these studs are but i can see where this one is so i measured over i've got this laser we're going to talk about that later because that's sure helping me out here this tells me where the floor joists are to screw into. I'm running these every four feet. I've got eight foot sheets. Uh, when I get into here, these are going to be six foot sheets. So we'll have to change that up. So you can see where the studs are, or the uh, floor joists. I've got that marked there from the last time. So we'll see. 
if the laser's on it looks like it is i don't think my marks were i think they were more like guesses so i'm going to get these hung and the idea where the electrical is here i don't want to get that laser in my eye is to have a gap in between where that electric is and i'll just run uh one of those clips so it doesn't fall down because the metal is going to be under here so all this is going to be up actually i need to nail a few more clips in there to keep that up now that's what i'm going to do there i got a bunch of boards cut i'm going to get this section uh, i'm going to get them on there then we'll throw the metal up and then we'll work our way down now the problem is i'll have to show you with the laser right here let me turn this light see how that corner slopes up well, this whole loft had sagged downward. Now, I have fixed that, <coughs> but uh, yeah, there's a new two by 12 across there. That is fixed, but the ceiling, the sheetrock and all that is still like that. So what I have to do in this corner is build it out. So my laser is gonna come in handy with that. Let me get the laser on and I'll show you how far out that is. All right, I got these all boards up here. You can see how I got the electrical going through the center. Now there is a little bit of a slope here, but the nice thing when you're putting these metal ceilings on is you can adjust the screws enough to, to where you can level it out. But I am going to run into some real problems when I get here. So I know I already got to build that up at least an inch and a half. So I'll be doubling up on them. But right now I want to get the hardest part done is going to be these lights and the ceiling fan. And I've got to do some work on that box before I can start laying metal there. But if, we, if I can get through this part today and get this up and get the lights hung, I'll be happy. And wait, just wait and see how I hang these lights. If everything goes according to my plan, it's going to be pretty cool. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do I don't think I hung a piece this long. This could get this could get crazy, guys. All right, I think what I think, what I think is to hold this dude above my head and screw a couple in here first. Yes, sir. I believe that's the route I'm going. All right, I got my drill handy. Don't need this tape measure. All right, eight feet. So let's pull this ladder so I can kind of rest that. And I'm going to hoist, hoist it up above my head. Nice thing about this stuff. It doesn't weigh nothing. And I want to make sure at the same time that it's straight and square and all that goodness. Then I'll put the laser on it and we'll see. Here goes nothing. Another reason I did not want to finish the walls is I learned my lesson. Right. New wall. Oh, piece of cake. And you can see beforehand, I have made a mark. That tells me, hey man, drill here. So let's put one right here. Actually, let's put one right You stay. Stay. Oh! Oh, that Luga! I'm right above my head and I don't like it. I gotta give it away. Ah, you mutton. This The stool's too far in. what you call a real metal head. Alright, let's do this. Listen, man. When I put you somewhere, you stay there. Do it again. Going up. Okay, tippy toe. Am I on the top? You're on the top. Now you can't see. 
Let's put one over here. Does that mark line up? Yeah, well, somewhat. Let's get one here. I need to get on the ladder. pre-drilled now. Nah, it's too easy. Mama said there'd be things. I'm not real worried about square that much because I'm gonna have trim. That's my answer to everything. Trim. Right, it's gonna go smooth. do is get this one in and then we got some play. I, I tell you, oh, let me rethink it. All right, if I got a mark on that, I'll pop a hole for it. Then it'll go easy. I see the mark. Well, let's pop one in there. Because I ain't playing. Oh. Everything's always in my way. <sighs> That's all we needed. One. The rest of them. What is that? Oh, now there's chicken feed all over my house. Because there was chicken that was on the bottom of the chicken feed. There we go. Attempt number, I believe, three. Right, you're where you need to be. You're where you need to be. Oh, that's using your head. Uh-huh. now. I am not going overboard with the screws. And that's it, we're done. I wish. All right, before I get too crazy, boy, that barely made it in the board. We'll come down here and square it up a little bit. I need to probably take that center one out. Why, yes. Back it off and turn it. not going to be fun. So now I got to do some thinking. Well, that's, I'm going to put the laser on that. It's square to the wall. So I'm not worried about back here, but it should be square back here. Let's go ahead and stick one. In the end, it's all going to be right. want to make sure that when I get going that way that it don't start you know it was like putting them cedar boards up you got to check it and that's what that laser is good for I didn't know where these stuff are these joists were well I bet I know where that one is and I measured over and I put a mark I put the laser on it and I hit every one of them dead on and that would have been a guessing game down there because it's covered up well I know why that one's off I got that board way back so that's fine it should be square. All right, let's get this one up. I'm only putting about three screws. The boards that I'm putting in on top. You remember when I did the office? This will be flimsy until you put the cross boards on, on top of this, the cedar. 
and it'll tighten right up. I need one in that corner. And there's the first piece. Put a few more screws in down on the end, but you get the point. All right, I'll come back when I get to this one. Basically, all I'm really going to have to do... Yeah, that looks pretty darn straight. Even though it doesn't back there, but that's because that board's off. Uh, take the lights down. I mean, the hardest part about it is finding where the... And I have an idea how to know. I'll put the laser and the crosshairs right where those cords hang. And then I'll know when I put the, and then I'll turn the laser off. When I put the metal up there, screw it down, I'll turn the laser back on, it'll tell me where that hole is. Sounds, that sounds like a plan. I don't know if I'm going to do that. All right, I got my holes drilled. I've got these one inch or half inch rubber grommets because you don't want the wire hitting this metal. So I'm going to attempt. I don't have my reading glasses. But it's alright, you ain't reading. You're pushing. So hopefully, I can fight these in there so that that wire doesn't get cut. It's easier said than done, but they're going. But the problem is it's not real smooth. Try to put it in from this side. Ow! Screw on the floor! I can already tell, I don't like grommets. I'm not a grommet person. There you go. It's hard to get a perfectly round hole in the middle. I'm going to have to work this and get it rounded off with some pliers. It's just too jagged to, for these to go in. I'll be back. Never put grommets in your mouth. It says on the package. Because you'll get cancer in California. Fact. Alright. Oh, I just I got the grommets in. I just had to take the drill bit and waller it out a little bit more and then, where is it? I'm going to take my multi-tool. If I knew where my Dremel was, it would have probably been a better tool for the job. But this just kind of cleaned up the rough edges. I was able to get my grommets in there and the reason you do need them is because this box is up in the ceiling and this wire is hanging down and it has this little cap and this is where they plug in and screw on. So you got to be able to get that cap through there. And it's tight, man. I don't even know if I can get it through there. Let's get this part through. It's that cap that's screwing me right now. If I can't get that cap through. It'll go. Yeah, it'll go. It's going to take a little work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hang this panel. I just kind of measured. Didn't do anything fancy. Figured out where my holes were. That one has to be pretty close because I don't have much slack, uh, slack in that one. But this one I got plenty. So the where I have them hooked, they're going to... And then once we get the panel up there, we'll, I'll show you how I plan to hang these lights. So let me get this hung. Not even going to film that. That's going to be a cussing. The likes of YouTube's never seen probably. Or it's going to go super easy. I don't know. Let's go. All right, I got the second one. Boy, was that a battle. This is not a fun job to do by yourself, let me tell you. So now what I'm going to do, let me get my drill, and I'm going to feed the... Uh, where'd my drill go? Story of my life. Story of my life. There it is. Trying to hang it. The dogs are barking at me like crazy. Uh, I'm cussing. All right, I got only about that much room there, but I'm dead on. And it went easier when I got rid of that two-step thing and got the uh, ladder. So this piece, you need to pull down and feed it through the grommet. And I ain't got much. 
Yeah, it's going to be. I may wind up taking this box out and refeeding. I don't have much room on this. It's right there. It's just a tight fit for that half inch thing to screw in there. But I got to get it in here now. There it goes. Well, tight squeeze, man. <clears throat> You know what you do? You go to the easiest one first. <laughs> that one's good. <laughs> I'm going to probably have to take that box back out and turn it around somehow. I got plenty of slack in that electrical line. I don't know. I knew, I knew it. I knew I should have did that. You want to make sure you got enough to feed through. Let me go up to this one. Because you have to do this at this point. Otherwise, you can't get your hands in there. Alright. There's this one. All right, that one's through. Well, the grommet come off. That ain't supposed to be what happens. No, oh, now I gotta feed that stupid thing back on here up here. What are the what? What kind of grommets they make today? Do they still make grommets like they used to? Come on, grommet. Ho oh, ho, grommet. You're a very silly grommet. Get in there, grommet. There's most of it. And there it is. I am grommetized. I'm grommetized for life. Do not put galvanized metal roofing in your mouth if you live in California. Get cancer. It's in their Bible. <clears throat> the wire will feed easy. It's that stupid cap. You don't go nowhere, Grommet. <clears throat> I am grommetized. I'm telling you. It's an awful situation. Should have got bigger ones. Get in there, get in there, get in there. <clears throat> it's that damn cap. I wonder if that dude, nah, don't come off. <sighs> I gotta get this ladder over and get up higher. So I can get some beef on it. Gotta get some beef. Where's the beef? Well, I can't go up into the wall. All right, lift it up. Put that dude back in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Twist it, twist it, Graham. Boy. Why? Okay. Got to squeeze the cap. That's what we'll do. Let me get the pliers. <laughs> squeeze it. You don't. Right, here we go. The holes are right there. I couldn't have done it any better. You get these dad burn caps through there. Alright, we're gonna squeeze it. That uh, ain't gonna work. Oh, you're going. You know what I'm gonna do? You little soap. What are you guys doing out there? Be right back, guys. All right. Let's try a little Dawn Platinum. Because if Dawn Platinum don't work, by gunny ain't nothing working. It smells good, too. You stay. I'm just going to ream that hole up. Okay, you stay right there for the next one. Now, let's see if the old Dawn trick. <laughs> see, guys, I might have struggles, but I'll come up with it. The answer, a little soap on the grommet. Soap dries up, won't come back through. 
All right, you get the point. Let me get this piece up, feed the dogs that are going nuts, and then I'll come back and we'll hang these lights. This is taking up my whole day, but it's got to get done right. All right, I'm going to do this live. I haven't never done it. It's just something I conjured up in my mind. Let me get up here. All right, when I get up here, I'll show you what my idea is. All right, so the way these lights hang is they've got these two tabs. One yonder, one yonder. And do I got my pen? No. I need the, I need the marker. It ain't in my pockets. All right, I gotta have the marker. Hang on. Let me look down here. There it is on the floor. Okay. Ah! If I don't know where anything is, it's usually on the floor. Okay. So where these are is dead center of the room. Approximately about like right here. All right. So my idea is I'm going to mark where these are when they're like this. And so I want to be centered on this. I got to remember where I got my electrical. Okay. I can see you can see where my electrical is that's something else it has I can't hit that but I shouldn't hit that because but I'm just gonna cut two slots in here in here and these will go up in there and lock into place so let me see if that will work now, it kind of scares me wonder where the electrical line is but I shouldn't hit it because yeah it's going straight uh, well, I'll we'll just do it carefully. Should be fine. All right, let me get the marks put on here. I gotta try to kind of picture where these dudes go. So we can plug it in. All right, how about right there? I wanna get them in the divots. There's, there's one and there's one. Okay, that'll line up good. there and you got some play room with them if you don't get them exact right there and right there all right this is the last I don't even know if this tool will do this but we're gonna find out I'm gonna get up here and gander down See if I can peek in there. I shouldn't hit anything. I planned for that. All right, let's just go easy. I should have done it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take it loose here, here, and pull it down and then cut them. Because if I cut into that line, that just ruins everything. So I'm going to do that. I'll come back when I get to that point. Because I don't want to hit that line. Alright, I looked at it. It's close on this side, but I got it pulled down where I know I can watch it. Like I say, I don't know if this will even go through metal. We'll find out. Let me get over here. Yeah, it's... It's close, but... It ain't gonna hit it. In fact, I can push that out of the way. Let me get a stick or something. I don't got a stick. Who gets there's one? I do have a stick. Well, I'll be dipped in duty. I can push that completely out the way. You ain't no trouble no more. All right. That's not gonna work. I need to get a drill bit and just drill some holes. That's all I gotta do. That's safer anyway. That thing slips around. All right, guys. All right, guys. I drilled uh, about four holes in it, and then I took the multi-tool, kind of 
broke through them and then I took a regular screwdriver and just kind of smoothed them out. But they don't got to be, they don't have to be great. All right, let's make sure that's going to go. Let me wallow that out a little more. We don't want them too loose. Now, I've looked all over YouTube, so I am like the first one that is installed. I mean, this there's people installing recess lights, but they're digging, they're cutting a big six inch hole and it, and it goes up too far and it doesn't look good. So, we're going to see how this looks. And uh, here we go. Let me plug this in, make sure I don't blind myself. It's got a little slot there you got to line up. I got them off right now. Good. And we're just gonna put these doodads. It's a strong spring too. So let's get that one in. Get that one in. And there we have it. I don't like that. I think they'll go up even higher. Yeah, they will. I don't see no. I may do that. I have to make this bigger because this clip, this whole thing needs to go in there. But they're holding. Let me look and see what that looks like. Yeah, I may want to take them up in there a little more. So I'm going to water them out. Oh, I hope I can get them out. Should come out pretty easy. And the nightlight. Oh, I'm gonna like that. Yeah, they definitely need to go up a little higher. So let me get them wallered out. Let me see if I can get that thing out of there and then uh, make it right. All right, the next one I'll use a bigger drill bit. Then I'll have to fight it. But I was able to get all that up in there. And you gotta be real careful with them springs because the one top part broke off in there. You know, they're not really made probably to come out multiple times, but I think it caught on the metal, but these are cool. They'll be even cooler once I get the app and I'll get the uh, dimmer switch on there, but those are going to look really good. And I got four of those, so let me get to the other one. Hopefully it's easier. Then that's probably going to be about it for today. Man, it's whooping me. I knew these two would. All right, second one did not go well, but I have a fix for it. I, I ran my finger where I cut the last groove, and I went one over. So you can see it was too far over, but not all is lost, because what I'll do is I'll start my boards right there. And let me go show you in the kitchen as an example. It'll run into the light like that there. And you won't even see that hole. So rather than the waste, a very expensive piece of metal. That's just, and that is about where the first row starts. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be about right. And if not, nobody's going to notice. But yeah, that's about exactly where that starts. So I got these in. And once I get them boards in, then I can straight, man, them holes are so big. I fought that and fought that. And you keep taking them springs out, man. They start breaking on you. You know, it ain't, it ain't the manufacturer of it, but he ain't supposed to have. But the concept, I mean, it worked great here. But I mismeasured over there. I followed the groove. You can see my groove that I cut into the metals in this groove. I was over one. And once I did that, then I was screwed. But I had I'd cut that one right. So you can see I was trying to chisel it back, but then now I got a hole there. But we'll fix that. It's not coming out. It's a little crooked, but once I get the boards across there, it'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up this dimmer switch, but I'm going to end this video. Oh, that, that's going to look so cool at night. It look like flames, don't it? I know that one back there is crooked, but we'll fix it. Oh, I wanted to at least get this part done, and it should go pretty quick tomorrow. Uh, I'm just taking my time. Not everything in this house is square. Not everything is level. So you gotta constantly check and make sure. But with this stuff, you know, there's a little forgiveness to it. As long as you get it going straight, 
your boards you can you can kind of you can tweak it and you know this come out good I, I would have never put the screws in like I said uh, and then the office I learned not to have screws in the middle these squares are a little smaller it's not gonna be like that so but this room come out good I'm doing the similar thing over here only it's gonna be cedar I've got that old cedar and then I've got a whole shed full of new cedar so I'm not worried about running out all right guys thanks for watching I was hoping to get more done but we're gonna have this whole thing done in two weeks I'm hoping kitchen uh, you know I had to go out yesterday buy a whole new set of pots and pans because that thing that very dusty thing now you got to have the the magnet stick on the bottom and my good pans they don't these will the stainless ones and the cast irons with like my favorite skillet and I hope it sticks to that to give you this strawberry magnet oh yes my egg flipping skillet I can use it all right somebody sent me that so I gotta eat something and do these dishes behind me because I haven't done any housework all right guys we'll get back out here maybe tomorrow see where I get happy trails corrugated metal rope ceiling with recessed lights first one went good not the second one that was my fault